Hello friends. Today we're here with Freddie and Vicki Sheets. They make our community extra special because they have bison. As you know, back in the 1500s, there was over 30 million bison that roamed North America, but by the late 1880s, only a few hundred remained. It is because of the conservation and stewardship of people like Vicki and Freddie that there are estimated 500,000 that roam North America today. Freddie, Vicki, uh, what got you started with your bison here? A uh, friend of ours, Lamont Sitton, used them to train cutting horses and he had one he wanted to sell so mm -hmm. we bought it and we started from there. This has been what, 12, 15 years ago. Uh, no, longer than that. Longer than that? Okay. What do you enjoy most about your bison? Sharing them with other people. They stop on the road and they look at them and they, you know, and you look down there and there's someone stopping and you go, what are they looking at? And they're looking at the bison. Yeah, them, when we change pastures and when they're at the house and, and even back here on the county road back here, mm -hmm. I've noticed people stop. Mm -hmm. But we enjoy them just like it is right now. You know, we get out amongst them, and so they they're it used goes. to us, and uh, mm -hmm. we get it. You know, I get a little too close. Vicky, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. This past winter was pretty tough. Can you tell us about that? I got up there one of them real cold mornings and. Our bull wasn't at the gate because I usually fed him separate and he wasn't there and I thought this ain't good and then when the rest of the herd come around from the barn I seen there was some missing and so when I got through feeding I walked down to the pond I seen two floating in the pond way out oh, no. so we lost five through the ice and our big Canadian. And our big, our big bull, we lost him. Mm -hmm. We had to purchase another one. Yeah. Well, I, I got the call from you, and I think some fellas from the neighborhood showed up to help, and we were pretty devastated to see that. We appreciate all the help. Yeah. Uh, Melody, and from you and Corey, and yeah. and Brad, and, and mm -hmm. Jeremy, and, yeah. and Little Dorn, all, all, the, right. all the help that come mm -hmm. and because we had to take chainsaw and a little yeah. flat bottom boat and yeah. chainsaw our way out to them yeah in the, in the frozen pond yeah. i'm sorry you lost your bull you bought a new bull though right yes yes about three weeks ago and this he's afternoon he's uh wow he's the, the bigger one in the middle right the there darker one. The okay darker one. you have a darker bull did you name him Buffalo Billy. Buffalo Billy. Well, the old one go, was folks. Buffalo Bill, so this one's <laughs> Buffalo Billy. Yeah. He's uh, just a little over two years old, so okay. he's ready to, to breed this year. Okay. So you had to have something because buffalo are like deer, you know, anything in the wild. They're seasonal mm -hmm. on the breeding and calving. And okay. We'll start having calves here within 60 days probably. And they don't breed till, you know, till they're probably three. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So some calves are on the way. Some babies on the way. The, the cows that we lost in the pond uh, left some orphan calves here, the littler ones, and they were pregnant. So, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to miss out on yeah. them. But hopefully we'll have five or six the calves this year okay. that, that are left over. Yes. Bison are ecologically extinct, however, it's the stewardship and conservation of people like Vicki and Freddie that the bison's impact resonates strongly in our hearts. We hope that you too can find things that you can do in your community. Thank you guys so much. There's Good our one. new Thank one. You. you can see him real good. Beautiful. Right there now. Looky there. <laughs> Thank you for the Thank help. For I mean, us. it's that's neighbors and and like I was visiting with you the other day. It's people that are moving into this country from the city, which I don't blame them. They, they need to get the country way and help, I mean. Help out. Yep. And, uh, well, we're so happy to have you as neighbors. Thank you for yeah. everything you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you for being a neighbor for many, many years. <laughs> you and your dad and all of them. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yep. Yeah. Well, he 
isso tem que concorrer.